Today I want us to talk about the ICT kill zones. So I'm just gonna keep this video simple and short. I'm gonna just shoot straight into the point. So I'm using uh, the New York session. That's the session that I'm usually trading on. So if you can see here, uh, this small line here, it is uh, midnight uh, during the New York session. So it's the start of the day. Yeah, if I can just go back, uh, this is where it begins here, midnight uh until midnight again so through this uh, this uh vertical lines and then i have this zone here the blue one this blue zone it is the uh, market open so the market opens here at around eight and then it closes at five and then i have another region this vertical region here which is a little bit gray this is the actual kill zone so what's the point of this the point of this it is uh taking advantage of market activity because the market is usually active before it opens and immediately after it opens so you as a trader you are able to take advantage of that volatile move because it is presenting trading opportunities usually before the market opens and immediately after it opens so that way you can see here the kill zone it goes before the market opens and up until after it opens and the time it is uh 7 a.m up and up to uh, 9 a.m so the market opens at 8 it's an hour after it opens and an hour before it opens so that's the kill zone and the way you analyze it, it is to make sure that you are there before that time to just look for those opportunities in this case you can see that we had um a Judas swing going all the way upwards, tricking other traders to think that the market is moving on an uptrend, yet it is uh, the actual direction, it is a downtrend. So we had that Judas swing uh, breaking uh, the, 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 the open price. Yeah? And if you can see as the market is going up, you can s spot something interesting here where the high and then we had another high. So as you can see, these highs, they are almost at the same level. Yeah? They are almost at the same level, meaning the buyers, they failed to give us more strength as they did on their initial move. So we have this initial move going up, but then on their next move here, they failed to give us that exact momentum. So it has to tell you something. And then after that, we have a flow of the market going upwards like this. And you can see that this flow is immediately broken here before the kill zone it is immediately broken before the kill zone and if you can pay attention here we've, we also have a retest through this candle here retesting that exact same zone which was broken or that exact same flow that was broken so if you see this it is actually a confirmation of uh, the market going short or of sellers getting in and pushing pushing the market down so then when the when 7 a.m arrived or when it's 7 a.m it is easy for you to actually take uh, or make a decision in this area there going short because already there is confirmation that the market is heading down as you can see a break of the flow and then when you go short obviously when you go short there your stop loss is going to be just at this level down there and then you'll be targeting the market up until um somewhere around nine or maybe until uh you take uh your profits it depends on you where your target is if your risk reward ratio is one to two then you're gonna take your profits uh, on that so here we can see again we had uh, a consolidation usually this is the, the the asian range so we had the asian range in this area here and if you can just pay attention carefully where the market going down and also again a judas swing to just fool the other traders thinking that the market is heading down and yet the actual direction is going up so you can see judas swing going down and then a small consolidation in this region all the way there and we can see that when the kill zone arrived the market just shoot up and gave us a break out of this uh, area here heading all the way upward so it's easy for you to make a decision now remember that you don't necessarily need to make a decision exactly when it's seven and you can make it on maybe 7 37 15 depending on where the confirmation is i hope this is making sense i'm just gonna make this video short and i'm just gonna leave it here thank you guys for watching